Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am just going to show you LG soundbar installation, unboxing of this soundbar, review of this product. I will go through if there is any special installation is required or not and I will show you there in the video. Plus I will, at the end I will give you the review like uh, after using how it looks like, how the sound is, if I see any problem that everything will be there and also while after using if I see any other problem I will be adding it in the description box. This LG soundbar I purchased from Costco, current price is $279.99 and maximum power it delivers is 580 watt it is a 7.1 channel sub soundbar optical cable is included if you have lg tv at your home then you can do uh, syncing with this soundbar so you don't need to stop tv sound this soundbar comes with one soundbar one wireless subwoofer and two rare speaker with rare speaker kit included so you the wireless rare speaker kit is there so you don't need to run your cables through that wall so i'll be doing full installation and showing everything also you can control this soundbar with your iphone that's what they're saying so let's open the box and then do the installation as you can see friends it is a pretty big box and this is the sound bar. Let's take it out. This is subwoofer, I'm sure. So this is the soundbar, as you can see, the, I like this cover, it's really nice um, fabric cover and you can see the switches are here, very nice. This is power, this is source, this is sound volume increase or down and Bluetooth. This is new soundbar and there's the wall mount option, as you can see. And uh, here is the power source, the optical in, and you can see here USB, uh, HDMI, HDMI in, HDMI out. The cables can run through here. This is good design. So, and this is the soundbar. Let's check what's inside this box. It says push here. So I pushed here. Now it opens. This is an optical cable, I believe. Yes, it's an optical cable that they are providing. Here's the instruction. Make sure you go through the instruction and how to do wall mount. If you want to do wall mount, I'm not going to do wall mount. And the manual, please go through it. <coughs> this is the power cord for the soundboard. This is power cord for subwoofer and one power cord for the rear speaker kit. This is the wall mount kit, I believe. Yes, I'm not gonna open this since I'm not going to install wall mount. This is the remote. And they're giving some screw for the wall mount kit. So let's open the remote and see. If you have LG TV, you can uh, control the soundbar with one remote. Plus with Samsung TV also, I think you can control it. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So let's open this one and install the batteries. So friends, this one I believe um, the rear speaker kit. So let's see. Okay. They 
have standard socks. I think this is for a wall mount. This is the rear speaker kit. And these are rear speakers. So let's open this one. This is the power cord. Power cord, and here you're gonna connect the cables. This is the rear speaker. If you have a stand, you can use this stand. This is the rear speaker, and you're gonna connect the cables here. Is these are the cables and this is something that I don't know and to see what is this now open the subwoofer this is a big subwoofer So this is wireless LG subwoofer. So friends, that's many things I just got. So let's go install and see how it is. So friends, uh, I'm going to now connect it. So this is the power cord I entered and then I'll run through this, this one. This is optical cable. So it looks like it's tough to see. Yes. Mm. It's very small. So friends, now I'm going to uh, connect this optical cable uh, this is provided with this this comes with this one and now I'm going to connect to the power so power and optical I both connected so friends now <coughs> I am going to connect it to the power. So I just powered on it. You can see it is showing something. Now I am going to turn it on. Turn on the TV. So I am going to turn on the TV. So I just turn it on. And you see it is showing something you can hear both sound is coming from here and as well as tv so you can uh, hear the echo so now i'm going to uh, pause it uh, like mute it 
because uh, both are coming together. So I just mute it and you see it automatically detect the optical. So I have to put the make the TV uh, TV settings and let me change the volume here, reduce the volume. So now I'm going to TV settings and So friends, uh, as you set, saw how I set it up uh, the Samsung TV with LG. Now if I using well, my Samsung remote and the changing the volume, you can witnesses. see. The They're also increasing. reviewing the video. The victim also said I'm downgrading, so the volume is down. So one remote, you can control everything. Uh, you can uh, do the change the volume up and down with this, with this Samsung remote with LG. So now I'm going to connect the subwoofer and rear speaker. So friends, uh, my sub, um, soundbar is on. Now I'm going to give power to the subwoofer. So I just powered it and see it's blinking. That means it's trying to connect. And let's see if it works. Yep. Now the green, green sign is steady. That means it's connected to the soundbar. So this is wireless subwoofer you can put anywhere. So I'm gonna place it now. So friends, now I'm going to connect the rear speakers. So let me, con let me connect them. The black will go to <coughs> black side. <coughs> Let's connect the other one. Done. Let's connect to the power and see the uh, settings. So friends, now I'm going to plug it in. I just plugged it in. So you can see it is blinking. And let's see if it gets steady or not. Yes, it gets steady. So that means it is connected to the sound system. Now it will be difficult to tell you. Let me test and see whether sounds are coming or not. So friends, I just tested and yes, uh, the rear speaker is having sound. So this is working. So now I am going to place it um, uh, on the back side of my room and then test the sound and we'll let you know Friends, I tested the sound. It looks pretty fine. Everything looks fine and it's loud I tried a couple of cinemas and songs and it's the sound is fine But it's still I don't like the sound bar over the Samsung one I think the sound is not good enough and one problem I saw since I have a Samsung TV and synchronization sometimes it broke so that's that's one reason for me not liking it because i don't want to change my tv another problem i just want to let you know that you cannot use your own optical fiber cable or outside cable because the size the location where you connect the optical cable is very small so the optical cable they are providing you need to use it if it breaks for some reason or anything then you need to find a really small optical fiber cable connector. So that's one thing, like you cannot just buy one and use it. 
that's the two problem i this i saw other than everything looks fine with uh, 279 dollar soundbar sounds is good so that's all about this video friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you